The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. This is number four from Chem 2045, Exam 1, Fall 2009. Number four says, a mixture of butene, C4H8, and butane, C4H10, is combusted in air to give CO2 and water. Suppose you burn 5.72 grams of the mixture and obtain 17.60 grams of CO2. What is the mass of the butene closest to in the mixture? All right, so the first thing that I've done is I've written down all of my knowns in a column to help me out get rid of a lot of the excess text. And the second thing I've done is I've written out the two reactions that they've given me. So I look at my knowns and I see that they give me the, the total mass of the mixture. So what comprises this mixture? We have butene and butane in the mixture. So I know that whatever the masses of the butene and butane are, they're arbitrary right now. So I'm just going to give them a name. I'll say x grams of butene. I'll say y grams of butane. I know that whatever they are, they must add up to give me 5.72 grams. So that's a helpful little equation. I'll write that over here. I know that x plus y must give me 5.70. All right. Next, I'm, I look at the second known and I say 17.60 grams of CO2 was produced. What made the CO2? Well, the thing that made the CO2 was the, the x grams of the butene. Whenever I burned the butene, however much there was, it gave me some CO2. And then however much uh, butane I had, y grams, that gave me more CO2. And those two CO2s produced add up to give me the 17.60. So how do I figure out how much CO2 the x grams uh, made? All right. It might seem confusing to work with this variable. If it, if it is confusing, uh, pretend that x is just some number. Give it, give it a random value, 4 grams, and just tell yourself it's, it's wrong, it's not 4. Uh, otherwise, you, should, you can definitely work in variables. And I'm going to show you how to work in variables, but again, if it's confusing, just write down a number and then change it at the end back to x. Alright, so let's start out with x grams of butene, C4H8. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert all this x grams to grams of CO2. How do we do that? Well, we're going to say, all right, I have x grams butene, so I need to cancel grams of butene, so I must have this on the bottom. And now what can I go to? Can I go to grams of CO2 automatically? Not exactly, no, because according to my little mole world, which uh, which I will put down here. Mole world is a, it tells us uh, what we can go to and from in terms of conversions. I can always go from mole of something to grams of that something. I can go from moles of something to, uh, to atoms of something. Or I can go from moles of something to moles of something else. See that? Okay. So, I'm at grams right now of something. I can only go to moles of that something. So I'm at grams of butene. I can only go to moles of butene. According to mole world. So what is this ratio? It, we say that one mole of butene uh, is, you know, whatever the molar mass of four C's and eight H's are. It comes out to be 56.10 grams. So now this is how many, now uh, grams butene, grams butene cancel. I'm left with moles butene. So I have to have moles butene down here. What can I go from moles to? I can go from moles of something to moles of something else. 
this is very helpful because this is going to take me closer to carbon dioxide. This chemical formula, this chemical uh, equation, relates the moles of butene, which is one, to the moles of CO2, which is four. So this gets me one step closer to CO2. One mole butene to four moles CO2. That way moles butene cancels moles butene. Alrighty, and finally, I need to cancel moles CO2 and get, what am I looking for? I'm looking for grams of CO2, how many grams this much butene produced. So in one mole of CO2, I have 44.01 grams of CO2. Moles CO2 cancels, and this answer, I'm going to write at top, comes out to be I'm going to carry out four decimal places because I want my answer to be precise. The more decimal places, the better. 3.1380. Uh, now, what do I do about this whole x thing? What I'm going to do is I'm going to say 4 times 44 divided by 56 times x. I'm just going to keep that x there because it's some number after all. I just don't know what that number is right now. And this is grams of CO2. So I'm going to erase all this. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll keep it up. I'm going to erase mole world real quick. Definitely remember that whole mole world thing. It, it helps. It tells you what you're, what you're, what's legal. You know what you can do. It's it's legislation, or it's it's law. That's what it is. And now we're going to do exactly the same process for the y grams of butane that we started out with to see how many grams of CO2 the butane made. And then all those grams of CO2 must add up to give me the total grams produced. So this is the idea. All right, I'm quickly I'm just going to go through this. C4H10, uh, we have y grams of butane that we started with. And then I need grams butane down here. I'm going to convert to moles butane. Remember, it's going gonna, it's gonna to follow the, the exact process as above. 58.12 uh, grams butane, 1 mole butane. And then this chemical equation says for every 2 moles of butane, I make 8 moles of CO2. One mole CO2 that I make, that's the same as 44.01 grams CO2. And this answer comes out to be 3.0289 uh, Y grams CO2. Alright, I'm going to erase all of the calculations and leave us with just the results. All right. Great. Now I know that these two grams of CO2, these two quantities are three point actually I'll I'll just write it in our knowns column now. I know that the three point one three no I right, I'll write it out here. The 3.1380x grams of CO2 from the butene plus the 3.0289y grams of CO2 from the butane must equal total grams. Alright. So this is one equation with two variables. It's no good. But luckily, we had already solved for another. We had developed in another equation with two with the same variables. So here I have two equations with two unknowns, and therefore I can, I can solve the system of equations. Um, let us multiply. There are many ways to solve a system of equations. 
this will be my method. I will I'll multiply this second equation by by three. I'll multiply every term by 3.0289y. All right. So here I go. I'm multiplying every term of this equation by 3.02. Uh, 89. Sorry, just 3.0289. 0289. And actually, let's make it a minus 3.0289. Multiplying every term by minus 3.0289. So, okay, so I'm going to add the two equations up. I just add the x terms up. This comes out to be 0.1091x. This cancels this perfectly. Hey, that was coincidental, right? And then this equals 0 0.2747. Therefore, I, I can simply solve an x equals 2.2747. And that was the amount of butene in the mixture, which is what the question wanted. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.